Hello there guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about and showcasing my, uh, it's going to be very quick, we're just going to be showcasing this little th script and rather this plugin or script that I made in Godot that tries to simulate and copy the Unreal Engine's physics chaos destruction system and how it works is that you have these anchor points that prevent somewhere to be simulated by physics and you have the actual object and if I happen to launch this game right now and as I shoot this object right here as you see there are parts of this object that are not simulated by physics which is cool right like this is what you want in a video game you want some parts to not be destroyed by physics or like simulated by physics as but however if I shoot this one obviously it explodes around does its own thing and this is something cool that we want right so uh, whenever you want destruction. So how, how it works is that we have two versions. One is the version of the cube that is normal one, one, and one is the actual destroyed version of the cube using the Unreal, so using the Blender's self factor system. So all I did was just adding a simple cube, right, and then right, like just clicking on it. So in this case, if I just want to be very quick, it's added a simple cube and what I did is that once you have the plugin installed for cell fracture make sure you have cell fracture here and all you gotta do is just go to object quick effects cell fracture just adjust it on your own limits and boom here you go if you wanted to have more pieces you would just go to subdivide it how, how much ever you want and then boom you have that many pieces just be careful that's kind of performance taxing and then bring both versions to the engine and make two scenes out of it one would be the normal version, one would be the fractured version. I would be putting this whole project in the description down below for you guys. So don't worry about it. But um, you can play around with it. You can just like, you know, add on top of it or just build on top of it. And um, yeah, that's how it works. And you just give the reference to the scene in the destruction comp and this whole scene for the cube. I just give the, to the mesh parts, I just give the reference to the destroyed cube and this basically handles the destruction for me and the destruction uh, things here and this destruction anchor whatever is inside this 3d area is not simulated by physics and that's something cool right that's kind of like the unreal's um, chaos physics destruction which is very cool so yes this is um, um I hope you guys like this and definitely just like play around with it do whatever you want and um, Definitely, you know, make use of it. This is for you guys to just build on top of. So thank you for watching and uh, make sure to like my videos. That would be amazing. And if you can subscribe, that would be amazing as well. Thank you again.